Show you how the pants go. Alright, got that. I'm gonna go ahead and open this door. that on my shirt a time or two. But this is what I do full time. I deliver car parts. Now, where's my truck at? We have a driver that go down to Jacksonville to pick it up and bring it back to me. Let's see, is this him right here? Thirty-five. Yep, that's my truck right now. Let's get turned around, and I'm gonna take y'all on a trip with DJ tonight, and show y'all what I do full time. Am I gonna last doing it? I don't know, but I'll show you what I'm doing for now. So let's go. Mighty Freak Minus Cascadia. Get signed into this joint. So they won't be calling me saying, hey, you're late. Oh, I'm not. That's not when, here when y'all want me to be here. Okay. Well, well, well. It's looking like it's going to be about a medium-sized night. Like I say, I have three stops. And those three stops are Atlanta Toyota in Duluth, Auto Nation Toyota, Mile of Georgia in Beautiful Georgia. And then we cut way across and go down to Noonan, Georgia. And Noonan only getting one cage. A lot of times... They put Noonan first on the truck. And I be thinking about going to Noonan first. But we know how that traffic is up there on 85 in the Buford. Not in the Buford area, but in the, up there near Gwinnett in the Spaghetti Johnson area. So I know y'all hear me talk about that all the time when I pull a container. So it ain't no difference at nighttime like this. By the time I probably leave Noonan and get up to Atlanta first and then do Buford. It'll probably be easily 6 o'clock, 6, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. And guess what? I'm stuck. So that's why we just go ahead and do Atlanta and then Buford. Buford is my number one stop. They always get a lot of stuff. Every time. I always have returns right here. Let's see how many returns they have today. Missing O-ring. Second one is a deep stretch in the panel. Third one is chip paint on the item. The fourth one is bottom panel bent. The fifth one is broken tab. The sixth return is some kind of error per technical. <laughs> the seventh return is broken tab on something. The eighth return is Position sensor something. I don't know what that means. Eight returns. That's why I say they always have a lot of returns. 
Every time we go to AutoNation. I have we're gonna talk more about um issues I have over here. We're gonna go ahead and go back here and get finished getting pre-tripped up and we're gonna get on the road. We are on our way up to Auto Nation to our first stop, which is located in Duluth, Georgia, Gwinnett County. I ain't gonna talk y'all head out too much like I like to do, but basically what I do over here is I deliver car parts to Toyota dealerships. Um, they have a big old warehouse down in, but my parts come out of Jacksonville, Florida. I don't know that y'all remember on a couple videos back when I said I was going out of Jacksonville to, to, to spend a little time. Well, I was in Jacksonville down there getting some training. So basically on my route, Monday through Thursday, which is technically Tuesday through Friday. Um, I have three stops a night coming up here to those stops I just told y'all about. On Friday, they swap it up a little bit. I go up to Gainesville, I got Roswell, Alpharetta, and I still got Buford. All right, so we coming up on our first stop right here, which is in Duluth, Georgia. It is called Atlanta Toyota, like I had mentioned before. Most of the time, it is a cop, a police back here. I guess you can say sit back here and watch the dealership at night. So this is one of the places I don't, well, I ain't gonna say that on camera, but anyways. But this is a pretty easy spot. They only get in, um, two cages, and two bumpers, and Four windshields. You have arrived at stop two. I have arrived at stop two. They actually count stop one as Penske when I leave the yard. So I have three stops a night, but the, but the little computer thing said I have five stops. So, but what we do right here, we just gonna go up here and turn around. I got a call the other night and they said, hey DJ, we need you to pick up some of these empty cages. That's like, it actually looked like somebody came through and picked them up. But um, but what I tell them was, I can't just pick up, I can't pick up all these cages and block in my next stop, you know? So y'all need to do some, y'all need to do some, 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 some changing around if y'all want me to consistently get, get all these cages every night. I'm not finna block my next stop and get to my next stop and have to unload cages from in front of them. Y'all make me work harder. That's not gonna happen. It was just like, okay, you know, uh, that, that's what I wanna hear, sir. I ain't trying to be difficult, but you know, some stuff, you know, I'm not gonna go out my way to do. We're gonna get flipped around over here. on back we deliver only thing I haven't seen that we deliver is tires I've seen little mini mini engines I've seen transmissions I haven't seen any tires but we just about deliver anything that goes on the Toyota I'm talking about you know, when I was in Florida I was asking questions and I'm just thinking we deliver I, don't, I mean, I, I, now that I look back at it, I feel like it was a stupid question, but I asked, but it, it was something like 2000, maybe five or six um, SUV, and they were like, oh yeah, we, we go back, we deliver stuff like that too, you know? Obviously, Toyota got to get it from somewhere. Obviously, the, they got to get it from somewhere, you know? get this paperwork together and we're gonna get back here and start delivering some parts. Let me show y'all the pants code. Right. Got that. We're gonna go ahead and open this door. And then put these back in here. Here we are, we 
always leave the paperwork right there. What's up? And welcome. Hmm, they say we got three glasses. I don't see. I only see one. I only see one windshield. Sometimes the paperwork be wrong in there, but this is the windshield right, right here. And that actually goes to the next stop. They put the bumpers up here. And of course the cages are back here. So normally what they do, they put my very last stop right here, which is Noonan. Put my Noonan first for some reason, even though it's my last stop. And then they put my second stop. And then they put my, how long? No, they, they put the third stop, first stop, and second stop. So it is what it is. Sometimes I have to fight around Noonan when they get a pretty big order, but it don't, it, it is what it is. So let's get this start. Oh, they got a other glass cage right here. I didn't see this. I walked right past this mother. So here go my three Duluth windshields right here. And then we have some Buford's down there. So this is why I say I can't pick up cages because once I remove those two cages right here, both of these going in here, if I put two more cages right there, basically I'm covering up my next stop. So that's the reason these cages get so far behind over here. We try to take back cages every night, but right here is, I ain't gonna say impossible. I'm just not finna, I'm just not finna work harder than what I got to. So anyways, let's get these. Most of the time I start with these bumpers. So that's the loop, and that's the loop. You look right here, have the name on it and all the good stuff. I had to scan it, you know, but let's get the unload now. Okay, so boom, I scanned everything except for one windshield. And the reason I didn't scan the windshield was the um, the, the bar was messed up on it, basically. So we take a picture and just like that, we are out. I literally been here for only seven minutes at most. And I guess I'm gonna try to get one cart. But they make it very hard for me to pick up empty carts. Throw that one cart on. This up. Slide it over. Yeah, they make it hard to get. <coughs> Excuse me, they make it hard to get carts here. Cause I see this one cart. It's going right there in the number two spot in the middle. So I'm gonna have to fight around it when I get to the next stop. And I don't know what's the guy. I don't know that the dispatch think I was being an asshole when I told him, you know, that I couldn't get in the carts. The way when he hung up the phone, the way he sounded, I think he thought I was being an asshole, but I was just being honest with him. 
The way it's set up, it's hard to get empty carts around here. And we have a weekend driver. And like I told him, well, I didn't tell him, but I was telling another guy, you got two drivers come here. If it was so easy to get carts, why won't the, why won't the other guy get carts? You know, it ain't easy to get carts because this is one of the first stops on the route and you got a whole bunch of other stops after it. So why cover up your other stops? Anyways, let's get this lift gate closed. Welcome to Duluth, Georgia. I mean, damn. Welcome to Auto Nation, Beaufort, Georgia. I just looked down in there where I deliver at, and I know y'all can't see it on camera, but it's looking like it's pretty clear tonight. And up here, I don't know, do I still have a picture? Do I still have a picture in my phone? But the altercation I was talking about earlier, basically it was a truck parked in the middle of this parking lot up here. And it just seemed like the guys that be here at night don't have any control over anything. It's just like, it is, what, it is what it is. If you can't do it, we're not gonna help you. But you wanna say something when I deliver at the top. But you don't wanna come tear this truck up and move. But anyways, but this is Auto Nation. And what I have trouble with a lot of times coming down in here, first of all, normally I would stop and walk down in there in the bottom. If it was blocked up, I would make this right turn right here and go over there and deliver. But it's looking like it's pretty clear. Navigate through here. But a lot of times they have cars parked right over here to the left. They have cars parked right here. As you can see, the oil stays on the ground. And on top of that, they may have cars parked over there to, you, to the right side. Once I turn around to the right side over there. And also, they may have a car parked right here in this area. Basically, they have cars parked everywhere back here. And it makes it hard for me to get back here, but it's the trash guy had a problem back there getting trashed the other day. And it seemed like at, after he came in and had problems, they keep this area clean back here. I haven't seen no cars back here since the trash guy came back here and had trouble. <laughs> so maybe maybe his company called and, and, and got on their ass like somebody's supposed to. Cause after he had trouble, I ain't seen no cars back here. Ever since I've been up, been over here, I've been raising hell about getting these cars moved. But it's a guy, it is currently 427. It's a guy that comes in at 430 to help me unload the truck. Matter of fact, it might be him in front of us pulling up. I may be wrong, but you know, either way he'd be here at 4, he come in at 430 and help me unload. I mean, I had got here a little earlier and unloaded everything on my own, which is, even though they get a lot of stuff, it's still easy compared to when I worked in the food industry, you know, so. They getting the bulk of the, of, of the materials. As a matter of fact, they are getting six cages, 13 loose pieces, which the last place didn't get any loose pieces. No, 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 no. Six cages, 13 bumpers, 30 loose pieces, four glasses so and Noonan only getting one little puny cage so let's get back here let's get back then and we're gonna start unloading this joint and they get like I say they got a lot of returns and like man they have returns every night like something wrong every single night when you come here but let's get this thing unloaded and we are going to try to be out of here before five o'clock
eight returns. Okay, so I see one, two. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. I'm guessing five, six. I see six. I'm gonna wait till they come in to show me where our eight of them is at. We have to sign off on them right here. I don't see anybody yet. So we'll go ahead and get started. Sometime I'll be done by the time they get in. scan the carts as we come off. I don't scan the other stuff. Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Get these straps out the way. These straps. And this is why I don't like getting empties. Go ahead and scan this. And these are what we call the loose pieces. We got about 30 of them. All right. Ooh, she just quite started. All right, so we got everything unloaded. And what I like to do is really start over here at the um at these boxes and scan all these and then work my way that way like i say the cage has already been scanned he took the other cages out of here but the cage has already been scanned so we're gonna scan all these boxes go over there and turn those bumpers over one by one and find the barcode on them and scan those and then we're gonna be out of here so let's get this party started baby That took us 35 minutes to do right there. I'm just over four minutes for my 30 minute break. It got us getting to Noonan, Georgia at 6.04. So we should be able to beat the ATL early morning rush hour traffic. And hopefully I can beat the, I, I go back home down Highway 16 through Griffin and come out at the 205. So, but that whole route, I ain't gonna say the whole route, when you're going through Sonoya, 
it'd be a lot of school traffic. School is back in, so it's a lot of, you're gonna run into school buses and stuff like that. But I would rather deal with school buses than to go back through, than to go back up 85 and get on 285 and 75 and potentially deal with an accident. But we know how that traffic is at Hudson Ridge Road in Atlanta in Stockbridge. So, that's what it is. We're gonna get on down here to Noonan. Like I said, we should be down here at 604. That's my last stop. And we should be able to do that stop in five minutes at most. And we should be out of here by eight o'clock today. At least, at least eight o'clock. So, I catch you in noon and I'll show you a little shot of downtown Atlanta when I ride through there and we're gonna keep on trekking, baby. Let's go. started like like liking breakfast food for breakfast but I go get me a sub a, a cold cut sub or get me some kind of salad for breakfast It'd be like man you weird no, I just like dinner for a lunch or dinner for breakfast for some reason like when I first started working over here in Penske and I go home in the morning I was big on eat me a eat salad and not salad but a salmon cooking me a salmon cooking me salmon mixed vegetables and a cup of shrimp for breakfast. Man, I don't know, stuff like that is just fulfilling. Like for some reason, breakfast, normal breakfast isn't fulfilling for me. Okay, so I see somebody is already here. I, normally the gate don't be open this early. You probably get here around about 6.30, but 
obviously he's here early. Oh yeah, they got that service, baby. Hold on, no, that's not open. I take that back. But sometimes it takes longer to walk back here and get the key and open the gate. Sometimes it takes longer to walk back here and get the key and open the gate than um than to unload. So I actually like when you be here. Sometimes I pull over on exit 57. I pull over on exit 57 and get me probably about 15, 20, 30 minutes worth of sleep in. And when I pull over and I take my shoes off and I lay across these seats, it's like I be sleep within 30 seconds. <laughs> so, you know, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Sometimes it had to turn into an hour before. But they are really, really helpful. see his car. Somebody been here. Somebody left the gate open. I normally he's parked like right ahead, right behind his Toyota truck in the corner right now. But he's not here. That's strange. But we're going to walk back here and get unloaded. Well, 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 well. This is a first for me. This is a first for me. I have never had a cart fall over. And you know, when I left that last stop, I knew I heard something back here, but I, was, I thought it was those, I thought it was those carts at the end down there. But, as we can see, apparently, I don't think I tied this cart down. So we gotta see if we get it picked up. Okay, I got it up. She wasn't easy though. Man, that's the first thing I never had that happen. Now that one put me right there. Yes, I am breathing hard. I'm breathing real hard. Jeez. I bet you that won't happen again. Man. All right, let's see. We're gonna tie, bet we tie this one down. Take this over here. Put it right, right here. Pull this one back here. Okay. I hope none of the parts ain't damaged. That is there, they're fraternal. Doggy. Hope none of the parts are had damage. If it is, we'll see. We'll hear about it, I meant. Man, we back in Macon, Georgia. I'm coming up on my celebratory victory lap. I hate that truck. You coming up on somebody, man, it's slow down. Before you know it, you running their speed. You know, brakes real hard. I already see what this Honda drive gonna do. I, I just seen it. Sometimes you can just see it. That shit sticking up on her head. Look at my victory lap right here. Pulled over. Pulled over. 
pulled over and went, took a, probably about a 10 minute nap. Then my son called me. I'm glad he called me because I probably would have been sleeping a little bit longer than what I, than what I intended to sleep. I ended up intending to sleep 10 minutes. You let me over to you. I guess you ain't got no choice this time. But yeah, he called and woke me up. guys I had talked to you know after we had got laid off you know they was talking about how how much stress was off of their shoulder So that is a night in the life of a Penske driver right there. Now every route ain't that easy, but it's some routes that are easier, you know. When I got hired on to this route, when I got hired on to this route, um, the guy in Jacksonville said, I'm surprised you got this route and somebody in-house didn't get it because it's one of the easier routes, you know. But maybe people didn't want to go to Atlanta because it was a route that came open it was a route that came open that um it was from Tifton, Georgia up to Tifton up to Commerce and up to Athens. Only two stops. But you had to add you gotta leave out making and go down to Tifton. Well, you know, you can't beat driving. I can get out there and hump and beat my route, be at a stop five, ten minutes and be out of there, you know. Go there with a game plan, five, ten minutes, five, ten minutes, you out of that um, dealership. But you can't beat driving, especially with these trucks only going 65 to 67, 68 miles per hour. You can't beat the driving aspect. So I said, I'm just going to stay right here on this route. And damn, I should have showed y'all how, how long I worked today. But I probably worked about six hours. I wish I could log back in and show y'all. But I probably worked about six hours a day. You know, you do the math, six times five is 30. But every day ain't gonna be perfect like today, you know. So I work 30 to 35 hours a week, like I said last time. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. Like I said, this is a, a that was a night in the life of a Penske driver. 
Um, they ain't no bad company to work for. Y'all may see this video when I'm gone from Penske or when I'm about to leave Penske. Or you might see it earlier than what, you know, earlier than what I, I think I'm putting it out, you know. But like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to do, I know I'm going to do one more video on Penske on the Friday route. Show y'all what that's like. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.